Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, please be a witness to over 150 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. And I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, including the codes and the videos, I do provide them completely free on my channel. So... It's a win-win situation. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case for most of the videos of YouTube, if not all of them. But I'll let you decide, and I'll respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Here I am back again with another video, which is how to resize the sale badge on the product cards on your Shopify store, because lately I did post a video on how to do that for the product page. In this video, I will show you how to resize the sale badge on the product cards, which is the ones that displayed on the home page or collection page on top of the pictures for the products by using a custom code again without using any apps or anything like that. And I will show you how to do that for either desktop or mobile or both of them. If you want the changes to apply only for the desktop, this video will help you out. If you want the changes to only apply for the mobile only, this video will help you out. If you want the changes to apply both of them, this video will help you out. If you want the changes to not apply to either of them, close the video and go back to watch something else. I'm just joking. Without any more talking, let's just get to it. So as you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. They have down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every trick, every code I do share, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one and also it's the most requested one. But if I just scroll down in here, I have every other free team, the most used ones, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try all my codes and tricks on all of these teams behind the scenes. I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people. I only do it for down team. But before I record the video, I do actually try it on all of these teams, so I'd make sure that it works fine. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. But I'm sure it will. And I just have to say this in the beginning. So I'd make sure that even if you... Because you're going to see me doing it on down team. You might be thinking, well, it's not working for the others. No, it is. So no worries. Without the way, you just get to it and show you how to resize this one right here. The sale badge on top of the product cards. And as you can see, I have here rounded corners for the, for the cards. As well as the shadow effect. And many more on the Shopify store. So every little thing you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you liked and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then that means that video is already done. Because once you see it here, that means I already did it in a tutorial. So make sure to check out the channel if you saw anything. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one right here. We will resize it, make it bigger, and not just the badge, the text on it as well. And let's just keep this page open. Do the trick, come back and see it in action. So head back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is click on the search bar right here because we need to find the file. And again, I have to mention this on each of my videos. So the file will be either base.css or team.css or style.css. Most of the teams now use base.css, but it's just the name different. But base or team or style mine you know i know it's base so i'm gonna type in base and here it is base.css click on it a bunch of code will show up after that scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's a huge file here we go we are at the bottom of the file in here and we need to create some space because we need to pass in some code but there is no space in here to create that space click front of the last thing in here then hit enter on your keyboard and it, here we go we have a completely new line to pass in some code and to get the code as always, scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see this little code that will do the trick for us. So as I said, this video will help you out how to do that on the desktop and the, and the mobile and if you want both of them. 
this code now that uh, you, sh you see on the screen will do that for the desktop only. Then I will show you how to do that for the mobile only. Then I will show you how to do that for both of them. By using the same code, of course, <laughs> no worries. So uh, first thing you're going to do, or let me explain first, font size, you already know what it is. Uh, line, hi line height, sorry, you already know what it is. And the padding, which is the positioning of the badge. That's very simple. If you want the font size uh, bigger, increase the number. If you want it smaller, decrease the number, and same for the others. So select the whole code, make sure to select the closing bracket as well. Right click, copy, get back in here, paste it at the bottom of the file. And after that, click on the save button. We will wait for a couple of seconds. We're good to go. We will get back in here, reload the page and see the changes. Check it out. It's much bigger as you can see. And in here I have sold out as red and custom as well. If you want to know how to customize this sold out patch, I already posted that video. So, uh, so no worries. Uh, as you can see, it looks much bigger now. So as I said, this will only do it for the desktop. If I switch to the mobile now, as you can see, back to the normal size. The badge is back to the normal size. But if I close this to the desktop, it's back again much bigger. So how to do this for the opposite, like uh, doing it on the mobile, but same size, regular size on the desktop, which is the opposite of what's going on now. To do that, you see here, let me zoom in on it so you can see. You see here it says min dash width. Min stands for minimum. So simply change this min to max. That was for simple, right? Then click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. It's save it. We will get back in here, reload the page. And boom, back to the regular size as you can see. But if I switch to the mobile, much bigger now as you can see. <laughs> so um, the changes will only apply for the mobile, not the desktop, which is the opposite with, uh, of the first one that we did. So how we can do both of them, mobile and desktop? That's way easier. Simply remove the first line in here. The thing that has a, a media screen max width, simply remove it and the, the opening bracket as well. And make sure to remove the closing bracket at the end here. And after that, if we click on the save button, wait a couple of seconds, we'll get back in here, reload the page. Okay, it's much bigger as you can see, but if I switch to the mobile, much bigger as well. So changes will apply to both mobile and desktop. And that lets you choose which one you want to apply this. But for now, I think my job is done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.